Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Max and Juan cast. Max, how you doing tonight, my brother? Doing good, man. I'm excited for football, man. It's been too long. <laughs> it's been way too long, man. Uh, haven't done one of these in a while, but welcome to our annual Pick'em show. Uh, third year doing this? Third year. Third year, yeah, man. Back-to-back -back champion. I'm excited. Back to back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, the first year, we're just going to call it I won in the playoffs. You won regular okay. season. Okay. All right. Last year, you whooped my ass, though. I ain't going to hold you. You whooped my ass pretty bad. Okay. I got to stop picking the fucking Raiders. That's part of it. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Let's ride. L let's ride. But, uh, a lot of exciting things for week one, man. Uh, of course, uh, usually we do a live show for this. I think this year we're going to switch it up. I think usually me and Max are going to start recording these on Wednesday night, right before the Thursday night football game. Uh, we'll pick every single game. Uh, we'll break it down, uh, especially for the big matchups. So stay tuned all season, man. Uh, week one all the way throughout the Super Bowl. We will be here. At least one of us will be here. All right, yeah. um, Max, let's go ahead and start off with the Kansas City Chiefs, okay, hosting the Detroit Lions, and uh, courtesy of my boy Max with the graphics for year two, looking really ring nice. Night. <laughs> ring night, you know, be kind of nice, see some rings in there, you know. <laughs> uh, betting info. For this one, the Chiefs are six and a half point favorites. Money line is Chiefs minus 290. You can bet Detroit at plus 235. And the over under for this one is 54 and a half points. I believe this is the highest over under for points for all the week one games. Uh, you so, know, I did this before they announced Travis Kelsey. And I'm just curious to know if it shifted at all. One, if you if you're interested too, yeah, it's four and a half now. So it's changed two wow. points with the news of Kelsey. <laughs> I mean, I'm to be honest, I like Detroit in this matchup. If you're taking, if you're a betting man, I like those six and a half points. Yeah, and then especially two thirty five for just straight up. I mean, yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, injuries for the Lions going into this one. Amon St. Brown, he's questionable. Most likely will play. Manuel Mosley, same thing, questionable with a knee. Uh, and Julian Akara has a knee injury. He's on IR. So mm -hmm. he won't be eligible to play. I would imagine until... those top two guys are going to play in this game. Yeah. Big game for the Lions, I'd say. Yeah. And let's go ahead and move to the Kansas City Chiefs, who have Legereus Sneed, probable, Kadarius Tony, probable. And Chris Jones, he's out. He's talking about he's going to sit out more than week one and then of course as max alluded to the travis kelsey news uh didn't get a chance to update that but hyper extended his knee in practice about what two uh day ago yeah, yesterday i think I, I would say he's probably not gonna play one i mean why would you if you're the chiefs feel like you can win this game without kelsey uh the chiefs know more than anybody it's not about one or two weeks it's like hey we have a goal in mind it's to hoist the lombardi trophy you know, one game without Kelsey. Look, I'm not super confident in the passing, uh, the pass catchers for Kansas City without Kelsey. He's just like that added layer of protection for Mahomes. You know, how many third and 15s, third and eights have you seen him just make magic to Kelsey? Yeah. But one, the Chris Jones thing we saw today with Nick Bosa getting paid. Uh, mm -hmm. Chris Jones, I don't, I don't know when he's coming back or if he's coming back. And Kansas City's defense is good, but. I don't think it can survive without Chris Jones. He is the best D tackle in football for my money. Yeah. And he's he's the best player on the Chiefs defense, of course. And that leaves me with this is the Chiefs are going to be missing two out of their three best players on their team, in my opinion. Would you so, say the Chiefs have like a core three players? Or that was a core four with Tyreek. They trade yeah. him. So it's Mahomes, Kelsey, and Jones. Yeah, big that's three. like the core of it. Yeah, and and they're getting down to one. Down to one. Luckily, it's the quarterback, the most important position. But 
Correct. I, I don't know. Uh, I think this would have been a good talking point in our preview for the Chiefs in general is like looking at it a little bit more deeper and saying, hey, is this team uh, injury away with Kelsey from being bad? And we're going to see how good Patrick Mahomes is and how he's going to deal with it. You kind of seen it last year without Tyreek Hill, but he still did have Kelsey. Kelsey went off last season. He's been going off for the last 10 years, but we're talking about a guy in Sky Moore, a guy in what uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see our boy um, Ross out Justin there. Justin Ross. Yeah, you're going to see um, Scout, Valdez, yeah, Justin Scanlon, Ross, Tony, Tony, um, Rishi yeah. Rice. You might see some, but I mean, there's not a lot of production in those guys. Those are all untested guys. And right. Yeah, you have Mahomes. So you're like, oh, we'll make it work. But, you know, whatever. We'll make it work. But, a tight end is like Mahomes' best friend. He's always been there, always. Yeah, hasn't missed always. a game. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, perfect opportunity for the Lions to pounce. Uh, usually with these games, I said it early on in the preview for uh, both teams. This is a buzz off. This is an absolute buzz off for teams um, on the road, going for the the ring ceremony or the dropping of the banner. Should I say? And hey, Kansas you know, City went into Foxborough week one, fucked them up, yeah. So, and fucked them up it, uh, it last year, or you know what? Yeah, that was last year with the Bills, right? The Bills went into LA, beat the shit out of the Rams, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I but, was there, I was there, yeah. But I think this is a whole different type of animal with the Chiefs, you know, they are still the Chiefs, they still have Andy Reid, they still got Patrick Mahomes. Uh, I'm still going with the Chiefs personally. Uh, who are you going with, Max? I'm going with the Chiefs in a very close game. and That's what I think of this Detroit team. I think it's going to be a little hairy early on. Juan's got the game a little further out of reach. Obviously, he picked the score before Kelsey. I don't know if that would change it for him. But I picked my score with Kelsey. I think it's going to be a close game regardless. I think Detroit's good. They're feisty. And Kansas City has the tendency to play down to their opponent. Yeah. Uh, I'm still going with the Chiefs, obviously, but... I think the store the score will be a lot closer. Uh, I'm looking forward to see how how Jameer Gibbs looks. I think that's yeah. one of the things I'm excited about. I know there's been a lot of talks out of camp saying that they're going to use him like an album Camara early days in New Orleans, out at receiver, out in slot, running back. Uh, I'm excited to see that dude. So, top three things that you want to watch, Max. So I, I mentioned um, Jameer Gibbs. Number two for me will be Patrick Mahomes without Travis Kelsey. And number three would be, I want to see Ross. I want to see him make a big play. I want to see Chris Collinsworth be like, you know, this guy, Justin Ross, baller at Clemson. Everyone forgot yeah. about him. Bro, I'm just waiting for that. Clemson, Al. And it's it just, <laughs> well, and something happened. Guy couldn't find himself. You know, that's yeah. vertebrae surgery. <laughs> oh my goodness! So your your Louisa. top three things that you're excited uh, to see on I Thursday agree night. with this top two. The third one I want to see Kansas. I feel like Detroit's O line could impose their will on Kansas City without Chris Jones. And if they can do that, they can kind of they can win this game. No. Yeah. I'm excited to see it, man. Can't wait for football, bro. Let's move on to Sunday. Uh, One of the first games of of the day. Carolina and Atlanta. Division rivals. Atlanta is at home. They're favored by three and a half points. Money line for Carolina is plus 148. Atlanta is minus 176. The over-under is 40 points. Some of the injuries for Carolina. DJ Chark, questionable. Austin Corbett. He's on uh, the PUP list, going to be out until at least week four. And for the Atlanta Hawks, or Atlanta Hawks, excuse me, wrong Atlanta, wrong sport. sport. (laughs) Uh, Jeff Okuda for the Atlanta Falcons is questionable with an ankle, and Matt Hennessy is on IR with a knee. Uh, We get get our second dose of rookie running backs on first round. We get Bijan. We get to see the number one pick in the draft, Bryce Young. We get to see Desmond Ritter at quarterback just to hit a few of the things. Yeah. Like this is this is like a week one pick 'em game. Right. You you almost want to say whoever wins this game you think is gonna do better throughout the year. Like that's how I kind of feel about it. Like if Atlanta comes in and kicks ass, I'm like, ooh, I kind of like Atlanta. 
if Carolina comes out and kicks ass, I'm like, oh, Carolina might be something good. But mm-hmm. right now, man, it's it's what was the spread? What was it? Carolina's favored? No, uh, Atlanta's favored. They're favored I'm, by I feel three like and three and a half is a lot for a game like this, dude. Or two question marks at quarterback. And that's not a shot at Bryce Young. That's just a guy who's never played a real snap before. Yeah. We game one, you know? Yeah. And look, I, I'm I got high praises for the Carolina Panthers. I predicted them to possibly win the division. Uh if New Orleans can slip up. Uh as what I see, I know it's preseason. I know that. But I think I underestimated how bad this offensive line is. They look really bad in the preseason. Uh, I guess Amino- the one good thing on is Atlanta's pass rush is a lot to be desired. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I'm so excited to see Bryce uh, Bryce Young. I'm so excited to see him. Uh, Thielen, uh, hopefully DJ Chark plays. And then on Atlanta side, I want to see Kyle Pitts. I want to see Kyle Pitts. I want to see Drake London. And, of course, B. John Robinson. I got him in my fantasy league. I'm excited to watch him. And this is one of those games where I'm going to be keeping a close eye on out of all these 10 a.m. games because of the Bryce Young factor and the B. John Robinson factor. Like, I just want to see those two guys play on offense. Yeah, no, I agree 100%. Atlanta has so much firepower potentially, but the biggest question mark is their quarterback. And last year we saw Mariota not be able to deliver the ball to wide open people. Ritter won. I don't know how high your stock is. It's not super high for me. Like this is a team to me could be looking for a quarterback next year at the end of the season. That being said, one, I'm going with Atlanta. Take the home field. Take the run game. I like. It scared me about Carolina's defense one, but it's week one. You know, defenses are a little bit, like they haven't figured it out yet in week one miscues. Yeah. I like Atlanta. I like Carolina. I'm going with a close one, a nail biter, division rivals. It's gonna be a weird game, probably. Uh I got Bryce Young winning his opening debut in the NFL, man. Go Carolina, bro. I'm I'm hyped up about Carolina. I'm kind of hyped up for that game, dude. There's a lot of things to watch. All right, Bengals, Browns. Next game. Browns are at home. Another division game. Some of the betting info for this one. Cleveland plus two and a half points. Underdogs. Okay. Money line. Cincinnati minus 134. Cleveland plus 114. The over-under is 47 and a half points. Injuries on the Bengals side. You got Leo Collins, ACL, on the pup list. Won't be back until week four. Joe Burrow, calf. Questionable. I heard he's a good to go week one. I already heard that news uh, today for that. So look forward to seeing Joe Burrow out there. Uh, Cleveland for their injuries. Jakeem Grant, he's on IR with a knee. And Denzel Ward, concussion. He is questionable. So that'll be big for the shutdown corner for Cleveland. Look, I, I'm excited to see uh, Deshaun Watson. Uh, th- the Browns are just a weird team this year. Everyone is kind of hot and cold on them. No one's in the middle. It's either you believe in Deshaun Watson and you think the Browns are going to be good or you've seen enough from last year and Deshaun Watson is not good and Cleveland's going to be a losing fucking team again. Well, that's the thing I think we all need to talk about. I don't really care about Joe Burrow's health. He'll be fine. Where's Deshaun Watson one? Where's the guy at the last snap he took in Houston was a top three quarterback, top four quarterback in football. Now everyone gave him the pass last year, but how quick is it going to turn on him this year? One, is it two games? Like, Oh, this guy, this guy fucking sucks. I'm betting Deshaun Watson is going to be back in a big way. That wasn't enough for me to pick them in this game. Cause I have how much faith I have in Cincinnati, especially without Denzel Ward. But let's see Deshaun Watson. Like, hey, you lose by 10, but he throws for 350. You're like, that's fine. We'll live with it. You know, this is a cream of the crop team in our division. To me, this division comes down to Cincy and and Baltimore. The other two teams are on the outside looking in. Deshaun Watson, man, like time for the Browns to kind of get what they paid for. They gave you all the money before you would even have the civil court, civil case disputed. It was still going on. And this is the year to do it, Max, because yeah. I think after this year, the contract just gets more and more. Yeah. And you're going you to have to pay something with it. Yeah. You like, have to. Me, I'm not expecting the Browns to make the Super Bowl, but with Deshaun Watson, he should be able to sniff the playoffs. And the you, yeah. You, you need to have some type of confidence this year that, like, okay, we made the right decision. We're good to go. Last year was a fluke. We're good. But. 
it, it does scare me a little bit with this game, Max, because of what Cincinnati did last year. You remember how they came out? They got the shit kicked out of them in Pittsburgh by their did defensive line. Him? No, I uh, the Steelers had what, like Burrow 10 sacks. Four interceptions and they barely lost. Yeah, and he got sacked like 10 times. He got fucking demolished in that game. So we'll see how, how Cincinnati comes out this year. I'm predicting what a win. But one of those games to keep a clo- close eye on. And I want to say this. I'm picking 26 to 20. Max got 35 to 24. He's picking Cincinnati as well. I'm just going to say this, though, Max. I won't trust any any team that wins this game. As far as like. You won't trust Cincinnati? Really? I, I'm not going to go to the point where like they beat Cleveland's ass and be like, okay, they're here. They're legit. Because it is week one. I they're, you can't take so league, much into week one. I still think already. I still think they're a contender, but I don't think it's something to just stamp put a stamp on and be like, okay, they're gonna be good this year because they beat the shit out of Cleveland. You get what I'm saying? Well, no, but and I that think goes it's like a step in the right direction, though. It's the step in the right direction, but for all these games right now, it's week one. You can't take much into yeah, it's not it. Over, how many yeah, times we're not gonna overreact? We're not gonna write yeah, off yeah. The- the Ra- we're not going to say the Raiders are going to win the Super Bowl when they go 0-1-0 this week or 0-1, <laughs> you know? I agree. Russ might not be back. Because you know how it is with week one, bro. There's going to be a team out here like let's let's go with uh, the Silver Tampa and Black Bay. faithful. Yeah, or Silver and Black, you know. But that one's a little bit different because it's a, it's a toss-up. But there's going to be one of these games where it's a big underdog and they wind up kicking their ass, and everyone's like, oh, shit, like, are they good and the other team's bad? And it's like four weeks from now, they wind up being one and three. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. I get you on. Uh, Let's go to another division game. A lot of division games, man. Uh, Jacksonville and Indianapolis. This game was so hard to fucking pick because the Jags have beaten the Colts. What I I believe seven oh, like straight six, times or eight or something like that. Yeah, it's they, been a they, crazy they... amount. <laughs> so it was hard to pick this game because you never know what the Colts. Maybe they're just sick and tired of it. But uh, Jacksonville is favored by four and a half points in in Indianapolis. Uh, money line is minus two ten for the Jags, plus one one seventy six for the Colts. Forty five and a half points is the over under. Injuries for the Jags. We have Devon Hamilton. He has a back injury. He's on IR. Walker Little, groin, questionable. Injuries on the cold side. We have Jonathan Taylor, who's on the pup list. He won't be back until week four, at least. With a, if he's quote actually on, injured. <laughs> quote, unquote, ankle. Uh, yeah. Jelani Woods, hamstring. He's on IR. And Shaq Leonard, concussion. He's questionable. So, what do you think of this weird ass AFC South game? I, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil my pick right now. I picked Indianapolis because I believe in Anthony Richardson. Wow. Might not, I might not believe in his passing right now. I just believe in his ability to make plays and the week one like craziness. That's what I'm going with. Obviously, I could be 100 percent wrong. Jacksonville comes in there and stamps out the Colts, but you know, this Colts team O line to me still has a lot of talent on it. Now, if that talent can perform to what they're used to. That would be a great thing, but we saw the video of Quentin Nelson one. You're like, what the fuck happened to this guy? Ryan Kelly, Brayden Smith. They got that left tackle. I um, can't remember his name right now. Ryman. But yeah. uh, this Colts team, man, you know, they were in a lot of games late. You know, even with Saturday, like they were in game. So yeah. I got the Colts because I believe in Anthony Richardson. I like Shane Steichen. I think they're going to do some things that just put you in a box where you kind of need to see like – It'd be like if this was week two and you have like a day, like a week of film, I'd be like, oh, Jackson's gonna win this game. But Anthony Richardson's man, he's a game breaker, that guy. Yeah. Uh I'm excited for Anthony Richardson too. I got him as one of my fantasy quarterbacks this year. So I'm hoping he does good. And maybe a little reminisce of week one RG3 vibes That's, against New Orleans. Kind of what I was going for where it's just like you don't know what to expect from the kid. Right. Uh, with all that being said, I'm going with Jacksonville. I think they're a better team mm-hmm. all the way around. I agree with that. I think they're yeah, better. So, but... Some weird, some weird stuff. You know, it is week one, so weird stuff can happen. But I think with the history of the Jags of beating the Colts, they're better. 
They got something to prove this year. They got all the hype around them. Everyone's picking them to go to the at least the playoffs and win their division. Trevor Lawrence, all that good stuff. And uh, to top it all off, it is weird what's going on with Jonathan Taylor. I think there's Super an weird. elephant in the Super room. Weird. And it's yeah. an I think it's a distraction. And part of it is Jim Ursay being a fucking idiot because he's a fucking terrible own, owner at times. Not Dan Snyder like, but I don't think he's the best owner out there. And the shit that he says, sometimes I feel like he has to shut his mouth. But that's besides the point. And I do think that's a, a distraction to the team. So I'm going with the Jags. Let's go ahead and get the points out there. I went 24 23, a fucking nail, nail biter. Yeah, I went 24 uh, 20, and I think it's going to yeah. be close throughout this game. <laughs> uh, one thing to say about this one, uh, I love the point you brought up with uh, Shane Steichen. That, that's his name, right? Uh, yeah, Shane Steichen. From the there Eagles. Goes, yeah, yeah uh, Jalen Hurts, uh, coach for the most part in Philly. A lot of credit has gone to Shane Steichen for how Jalen Hurts has turned out. And we all know what Anthony Richardson, similar playing type, you know, hurts on steroids, to be honest. Exactly. But uh, not the greatest passer, Anthony Richardson, but a hell of an athlete. So I'm so excited to see how this offense just looks. I don't care if they win. I just want to see how he looks and see, like, is he are they running the ball shit ton with him? Are they trying to make him a passer? I'm excited to see that aspect of this game. Uh, let's move on to the Vikings and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, a non-division matchup. Minnesota's at home. Minnesota is favored by six points. Tampa Bay money line is plus 200. Minnesota is minus 245. The over-under is 45 and a half points. Injuries for the Bucks On the Bucks side, Kalijah Cansey, the rookie out of Pitt. Questionable with a calf. Ryan Jansen. He's on IR with a knee injury, most most likely out for the year. Uh, mm-hmm. Injuries on the Vikings. TJ Hawkinson back. He's questionable, most likely. Yeah, I heard. Year. I heard he hurt himself depositing that fucking check in the bank. And carrying <laughs> all that money, the bank was pretty hot. Well, this is a weird week one. Yeah. To me, I think Tampa Bay is going to be a mess this year. I think they're going to wheels are going to fall off. They don't have the greatest cover, guys. That defense is old. Like, how many times we talk about they got all these guys coming back? It's like, hey, they're just another year older. Um, I as your cat find as, it. Shout out, shout out to your cat, man. I get yeah, here. shout him, shout out to him. He can't <laughs> shut the fuck up whenever you need him to, but when you want him to do something, you know, he ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying? But I'd be hard pressed to find Minnesota losing this game, especially at home. I think Justin Jefferson is going to go crazy. I can't. I have not much to say about Tampa Bay one. They'd really have to prove it to me if that they're more than a joke. They got Baker. I don't believe in Baker, even though people said that. Hey, remember the reports it's really close between him and Kyle Trask, and you see the yeah. team fucking missing throws. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, man. It's weird. I, it's I weird because we uh, we seen those two videos before we uh, we did their preview, and we're like. Baker's apparently having a horrible training camp, but he had a great preseason. You know, yeah, he came exactly. out, so. he, he balled out in the preseason. I don't know what to think. I I don't like the fit with Baker with the with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I personally thought he should have stayed in L.A. even if it was a backup position. Uh, I think they're gonna get their ass kicked. Uh, I have it twenty to ten, just because I feel like the Vikings. Week one, maybe they have some miscues. They got a rookie as their number two receiver in Jordan Addison. Uh, 20 to 10 Vikings. I'm going 28 14, man. I don't think this game will be close. This is a game I'm not really excited for at all. Kind of like whatever <laughs> game. Yeah, Kirk Cousins, 10 a.m. game. You know what he's going to do. Oh, fucking <laughs> MVP after week one, that guy. All right, Tennessee traveling to New Orleans to face the new look. New Orleans Saints with Derek Carr. Uh, this is a weird matchup, right, for week one? Oh, yeah. This this has, like, fucking crazy I feel like I haven't seen game. Tennessee play New Orleans in, like, 10 years. Yeah. Uh, New Orleans is minus three. Money line for Tennessee is plus 140. New Orleans is minus 166. Over-under is 41 and a half points. Injuries for the Tennessee Titans. Caleb Farley and Kyle Phillips both on IR. Get help, Caleb. 
Jeez, I know. Man. Uh, all right, injuries on the Saints side. Traquan Smith, the groin, he's doubtful. And uh, Kendry Miller, the rookie from TCU, shout out to TCU Horn Frogs getting beat by Colorado last week. Coach but, Prime, uh, no, they got beat by Coach Prime, dude. <laughs> Coach, Coach Prime, baby. Uh, yeah. he has a hamstring injury, he's questionable. Horn Frogs can use them if they and if they fucking really Kamara want. Kamara's not going to be there. I didn't put that in the injury report, but he's suspended for three games, so yeah. Kamara's not there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think, Max? Oh, Derek Carson looks sexy in a black jersey, all black. Hey, you no. know how he plays against Tennessee? He he beats Tennessee. He has he their does, number. He does beat them. Uh, <laughs> you know, this is a game where you kind of have to learn about these two teams. Obviously, Tennessee's going to try to establish the run. You know, they have Derrick Henry, but I think their defense is too good. New Orleans to just kind of let them get pushed around. I don't have a lot of faith in Tennessee's O line. Vrabel scares me against Dennis Allen. Like he can come in there, get the guys riled up. But to me, Tennessee's not talented enough to beat the Saints. I think it's going to be a close game just because of how much faith I have in Vrabel, maybe Henry. But this is the Saints. This I think Derek Carter starts off good. 28-27. Very close game to me. Look, uh I like the Saints in this one. I'm gonna pick them, but it Would scares you pick me. The what- Saints, if they were in Tennessee. No, I think I'd honestly, pick Tennessee. Yeah, I would pick Tennessee. It, it's hard to play in that Superdome, man. Uh, for their home opener, it's tough. But I, I, I'm looking forward to Jeffrey Simmons having a big game. I think he's going to get some interior pressure on Carr. You know how Carr deals with pressure up the middle. I feel uh, like that's uh, that. That's his. That's his downfall. The pressure up the middle. I mean, that's any quarterback's downfall. But I, I feel that like that downfall was being on the Raiders. Yeah, well, maybe new team, new him, new year, new all me. that bullshit. New me, <laughs> fucking let's ride bullshit. I'm riding with the Saints, man. I think this is going to be a hell of an entertaining game. Uh, I got Saints 28-27. Uh, close game, though. I, I feel oh, like sorry. I read your no score as mine. I, I went 17-14. I think it's going to be a little tightly game, tight game. Yeah. Not a lot of scoring because these two defenses are good. I'm sorry. I miss <laughs> I miss Raiders. Right so first afternoon game, I believe. Mm-hmm. Nine in Pittsburgh. This is probably the game of the week as far as Sunday goes, afternoon and, and morning slate. Uh Niners traveling to Pittsburgh. Great week one matchup. I, I really like it, man. Yeah. Uh, the spread for this one is San Francisco is favored by two and a half points. Money line. Niners are minus 138. Pittsburgh is plus 118. The over under is 40 and a half points. Injuries on the Niners side. We got oh, Drake. Can Greenlaw. you believe it? They're already fucking hurt. Can you believe it? <laughs> Drake, Drake Greenlaw, the linebacker, he's questionable. Uh, Hufunga, he's questionable with a knee. And Nick Bosa, Max was late to the party with graphics. He has signed his contract. He's going to play. Uh, got a fucking sh- bag. He got a bag. I thought he was going to get more, honestly. Overpaid, <laughs> man. Overpaid. Uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's injuries is Cameron Hayward. He's questionable. And James Daniels. He is also questionable. These guys are probably going to play. Uh, yeah, week one. I, yeah. You're not getting healthier. Exactly. Not getting healthier after this week. Um, uh, this bro, was... The Niners come into town 210 pounds lighter without Trey Lance one. We'll say hey. that. Hey. So. It's, it's, it's a good thing to get off your back. Uh, th- this was the this was the toughest game to pick. All oh, this was the all easiest game to pick. I don't think so. Game. I was I was going back and forth between Pittsburgh. I was being and the hating ass bitch. And I just want the Niners to lose this week, so I picked the fucking <laughs> Steelers, baby. Big G, where are you at, Kevin Tate? Nine, fuck the Niners, man. Fuck the faithful. They're they're lame. They're not gonna win. T.J. Watt is gonna make Brock Purdy's elbow hurt again. And who's their other guy they got? Sam Darnold. Come on. Sammy we got D. tape on Brock now. We got tape. <laughs> he ain't coming uh, into Heinz Field. What the, what the fuck is the field called? Heinz, uh, like, no. It's called... Starlight or some shit? No, I forgot what it's called now. It's something stupid. Um, But I, I'm going to go with San Francisco, man. I, I think... I, I really like Pittsburgh. I want to pick them. It, you know, it's week one, but I don't trust Kenny Pickett yet. I know they had that win streak going into last year. They were hot. 
George Pickens year two. Deontay Johnson, maybe he can score a fucking touchdown this year. Mm-hmm. I kind of find that hard. Maybe to they fuck- can run the fucking ball. <laughs> with Najee yeah. Harris, resurrect yeah. Najee. Maybe the line yeah. can block. Uh, yeah. TJ Watt, don't get hurt. You know, stay healthy all year. But um, I like San Francisco. I, I think Brock Purdy is going to be just fine. I think if anything scares me, it is the offensive line against Pittsburgh's defensive line. But Niners got a tough defense. I don't think Kenny Pickett's going to score all that many points. I got Niners 24, Pittsburgh 17. I got a close one, 20 to 17. Hey, man, I didn't use logic. I just want Pittsburgh to win his week one. I figured why not? Let it fly, man, baby. Fuck Pittsburgh. Fuck hey, them. Black and yellow. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and go to the command. Let's do right? this one fucking quick. Yeah, Arizona against Washington, home opener for them. Shout out to Dan Snyder not being there. Uh, Arizona seven point <laughs> underdogs in this one. Uh, Joshua Dobbs will be the starter. Uh, if you want to bet on Arizona, a little frisky on Arizona, maybe plus two sixty five. Throw a little five bucks on that. You know, wouldn't be wouldn't be mad at it. Uh, over under is 30, 38 and a half points. Injuries for the Cardinals. Uh, we got Kyler Murray. He's on IR, of course. Uh, Zach Ertz is questionable with a knee. And injuries on the Washington side. Chase Young, of course, already on the fucking injured list. Questionable with a neck. Terry McLaurin has turf toe. He's questionable. And Jonathan Allen has a foot injury. He's questionable also. Look, I'm going to make this one quick. Like Max said, 31 to 10. I got Washington. I like Washington this year. I think they're going to be a frisky team. They're better than people think. I love Sam Howe. I love their defense. I think the whole new ownership vibes and all the energy that's coming out of that, they're going to take it out on the Arizona Cardinals, who are the worst team in the league. Yeah, I don't know how you go with uh, Jonathan Gannon and the Cardinals. And, man, Jonathan Gannon, going to be a rough year, man. I hope it's not a one and done for you, but we'll see how it goes, man. Uh, I don't think Washington is that great, but Arizona is that bad. Did you see the speech? I did. It wasn't. I was like, "Fuck! No wonder we lost the Super Bowl." <laughs> like this fucking guy. Like it, fireworks, bro. Pew pew. <laughs> uh, Houston Texans. They're gonna be playing the Baltimore Ravens. A great matchup for your rookie quarterback. <laughs> this is not yeah. what I'd like. Be like, oh, you want to play something light? Yeah, ten. <laughs> it's fucking ten. ten points. Ten points. Baltimore is minus four eighty for the money line. Houston is plus three seventy. Maybe a little parlay in there, man. Over under. Fucking Houston and uh in Arizona. Fuck it. Just to be honest, you know? I think this game should not be as big a spread as it is. I think yeah. Houston's better than fucking Arizona. Uh, Titus Howard. Uh, Tyus Howard hand injury questionable. Kenyon Green and Juice Scruggs are both on IR. That's a lot of old uh, linemen hurt for yeah. your rookie quarterback one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Baltimore, Marlon Humphrey, questionable. And Tyus Bowser, he's on IR. Uh, look, man, I- I'm just going to say this. I'm going to call it right now. <laughs> I think C.J. Shroud is going to struggle this year as a rookie quarterback. I do like Houston as far as some pieces like Dalton Schultz. I know they drafted Willie uh, Willie Anderson from Alabama. But let's be honest. Nico Collins is their number one receiver. Their defense is a Stud. working progress. <laughs> their defense is a working progress besides Jalen um, Petrie and and Derek Stingley. Uh, is Baltimore's defense like uh, the old defense of Baltimore? No, but I think they're going to light it up. Uh, I think o- OBJ and Zay Flowers are going to come out and fucking have huge games. Kind of re- reminiscent of Lamar coming out and beating the shit out of Miami a couple years back. I was going to say, they seem to one. always get some favorable matchups week one, the Dolph- uh, the Ravens. But yeah, I would go with CJ Stroud's going to struggle. I think there'll be moments, but this is not the game you want week one against a, a machine in Baltimore. Like, you know, we can say they've had a down year. Hey, they made the playoffs last year, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would. Yeah. What a down year. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll be shocked if Houston gives them the game. Uh, let's go with one of the oldest rivalries rowver- in football. Green Bay, Chicago. Little weird. Aaron Rodgers is not on this matchup, so he does not, in fact, own the Bears this game. So that's a good thing for Chicago fans. Uh, Betty info for this one. Green Bay, only one-point underdogs. 
in Chicago. Uh, money line is Green Bay minus 104. Chicago is minus 112. The over-under is 43 and a half points. Injuries on the Packers side. Eric Stokes, foot, he's on the pup list. Romeo Dobbs, he's questionable. And I just got word Christian Watson is also questionable because I have him on my fantasy team. So both of the receivers a little banged up going into this one for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, Chicago Bears, their injuries. Jaquan Brisker, he's questionable. Most likely will play, though. Yeah, these guys and are Chase, playing. Yeah, Chase Claypool, he's questionable, but most likely will play. Look, man, uh, I think the more and more I look at Chicago, the more and more I'm not too like fond of them. I really, look, I I think fantasy wise, they're gonna put up big points with 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 Justin Fields, but as as far as getting wins, I don't see it. This team is still a working progress. I like some of the pieces, but it's not all the way there. I still think they're gonna struggle to put up points at times. And Green Bay is still a really good fucking team. Their their defense is really fucking good with J- Jahir Alexander. I Jordan love their good. offense. I'm going to go I, on a limb and say, I think he's good. I think he's yeah. going to be just fine. Yeah. And Christian Watson coming back. And then people always forget about the, this guy, Aaron Jones. I think Aaron Jones is a lot better than people think. And, and of Dillon. course, it's a really good, and, like, fucking exactly. Duo. So they, they're they a really good fucking team still, man. I have total faith in them. I don't think Chicago's going to come out and beat their ass. And Jordan Love's going to get going to get exposed. I'm going with Green Bay. Yeah, all the I way. Think Justin Fields is going to keep this game close. He's going to make some fucking plays where you're just like, oh, how? OK, we had four guys hit him. We couldn't tackle him. But you know what? I think it's going to be a tough first game for Green Bay. And I, but I like Green Bay one. I, for all the reasons you said, good defense, good team. The Bears have a few good players. They have DJ Moore. They have Justin Fields. They have no good offense alignment. Do they have a good pass rusher? Eh, not really. Do they have Terrell right. Evans? Yeah, he's good. Jacoma Brisker? Yeah, he's really good. Kyler Gordon? He's good. But overall, they don't have a solid team through and through like the Packers. They have talent almost everywhere. Yeah. And this is a little bit of a big brother, little brother kind of thing. Like they've been kicking their ass for years. Yeah. Uh, look, game of the week. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> game that I'm going to be for sure watching. Las Vegas Raiders traveling to Denver. Face the Doncos. Uh, betting info for this one. Vegas is four point underdogs in this one. Uh, money line is Vegas plus 176. On Denver side, it's minus 210. The over-under is 44 points. Injuries on the Raiders side. Brandon face on Leg injury, he's questionable. He'll most likely play. Vegas is, for the most part, going into week one healthy. Uh, injuries on the Broncos side. Kind of not the same thing you can say for them. Tim Patrick on IR. Of course, he tore his Achilles early on in training camp. Jerry Judy has a hamstring injury. He is questionable. And Baron Browning has a knee injury. He's on IR. Look, Max, I want to shy away from the game real quick. Yeah, do it. Did Go you hear the about that? Ch- no, did you hear about that Chandler Jones shit? Yeah, I know you was, heard about that. Was, that was bizarre. That was fucking weird. And it had me thinking, like, how many fucking times as a Raider fan we got to deal with shit a week before the fucking season goes? First is Khalil Mack getting traded. Then it's Antonio Brown with his fucking bullshit. It's your center going to the fucking Mexico before the Super Bowl (laughs) for a couple days doing a line of blow. Yeah, I I don't get you guys. I don't get it. But, I mean, that's what the Raiders are, right? They're just like the running joke. I don't know whether to believe fucking Chandler Jones and be like, yeah, McDaniels is an asshole. We're a fucking wreck. But he's known McDaniels for like years. Like you were in the building with him. And I don't don't know what's going on, but Crosby and McDaniels talked today. Apparently they got it under wraps. They're going to keep it in-house and they got it under control. I don't know. Chandler Jones has some fucking weird ass shit going on, man. Uh, if something well, is Jones family, kind of weird. If if something is legit wrong with him, go get some help, bro. Because you're fucking insane. If um he's telling the truth, I guess go ahead and join Antonio Brown on the fucking bench, bro. Because uh Antonio Brown thinks that the Raiders are fucking crooks, also. So <laughs> so Shiesty, that's why I'm picking Denver motherfuckers. this week, guys. Hey, <laughs> Sean Payton got the fire under Russ's ass. 
Let's Stop ride, babies. I'm riding. <laughs> Let's ride all aboard Denver 28-14. Oh, I don't know how you pick the Raiders, you fucking delusion. I'm fuck. picking the fucking Raiders. Look, Denver, I don't trust. Yes, they have Sean Payton. I trust the I Raiders, get it. though. They still have Russell Wilson at fucking quarterback. I don't care. Fuck him in his two offices or his two parking spaces, whatever the hell that he does. I think the team does not trust him. The team does not like him. Russ is going to throw for five touchdowns and four hundred. Coach Prime has done more for the city of Denver in one week than Russell Wilson has in one year. That's all I got to say about Russ. Okay. Shout out to Colorado football. But Denver's going down this week. The only reason why that the Raiders will lose is because I didn't go to Denver this year, and that's why the Raiders will lose. But they're not. It's 21-17. I'm rolling with Vegas. Jimmy G, Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs coming to play. 6-0 and against Denver. That's all Even I got to say. Knows that's we, will be, we will be 7-0 and after Sunday. Even Calling my cat it knows it's bullshit, guys. What do you got to say about 6-0? and What do you got to say about that? New regime. Right, Take the tally marks. Like when Chris Paul got traded to the Clippers, he's like, give me all the losing streaks. We're going to fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look, Philly, uh, with with Max wearing the wrong green, as usual, for the Philadelphia Eagles, facing the New England Patriots and New England. This is not your daddy's Patriots. So the Eagles are favored. Uh, Max forgot to get the fucking spread. Of course, he probably didn't want to show it. Uh, injuries for the Eagles, though. Hassan Riddick, thumb, he's questionable. Quez Watkins, he's questionable with a hamstring. Both of these guys most likely will play. Uh, injuries on the Patriots side. Tyquan Thornton, he's on IR with a shoulder. And Mike Gusecki, shoulder injury, he's questionable. I'm rolling with the Eagles, man. I, I do think it'll be a closer game than people think. Uh, I like New England's defense still. I just I, I need to see something by the offense. I need to. I need to see something. I need to know that Mac Jones will be okay. And it was just Matt Patricia's dumbass last year, and he's gonna be fine. I need to see it first. I I'm this is not a this is not a game I really want the Eagles to play in week one because the Patriots are just notoriously a stingy defense. One well, the betting info for the game, don't know why it wasn't uploaded. Phillies favored by three and a half. Money line Philly minus 184, New England plus 154, over under 45. Seems a little high to me, but I'm worried. One, I'm still going to pick my Eagles, got to ride with them, ride with the hometown team, you know, even though we're a good football team. I'm kind of, I'm a little scared about this one just because it's just Bill Belichick, man. We can give him all the shit he wants. He's still the greatest coach in football's history. You know, let's respect him, give the man his flowers. It'll be a tough week for the Eagles, but I think they'll get out of it just based off talent. But I think it's going to be a slot like a, just a really rough game. Very rough game. I will be throwing out a parlay this week, and I will be putting in there Green Goblin will have a pick this this week against <laughs> the Philadelphia Eagles. Hard, play hard against your old team. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's, let's go to uh, San Diego, a.k.a. Los Angeles Chargers. Facing off against the Miami Dolphins. Count your blessings, Chargers, because you will not be playing this game in Miami. Fucking hot ass weather over there. So this is the second uh, week, second year in a row this game's in LA, right? Yeah, yeah. This one was a crazy game last year. Uh it was on Sunday yeah. night football. Tyreek uh, had like the 60 yard fumble. Right. Uh Miami is plus uh three points underdogs. Money line, Miami is plus one thirty six. LA is minus 162. The over under is 50 and a half points. Injuries on the Dolphin side. As you can see here, Jalen Ramsey, he's out on IR, won't be back for a while while. Uh rookie running back Devon A chain. Uh shoulder, he's questionable. And Teron Armstead, he's also questionable with LA. Truly, injury. truly guys who might not play, though. It's like not yeah. the question, but like, oh, they're playing. Uh Dion Henley, rookie also. Uh, linebacker, hamstring injury, he's questionable, and Jalen Guyton, knee injury, he's on IR. I'm excited uh, for Quinton Johnson, one from what I've been seeing, from what Herbert's physical talents allow. I'm excited to see this guy. Miami's defensive backfield right now doesn't really strike fear in I heart. They got, they got fans, yo, they got pass rushers, good linebackers, but 
this is going to be a tough game for the Chargers to overcome, man. Uh, let's see if the Chargers can kind of right the wrongs. Let's see if they can, you know, play tough against the run. Like, not be the finesse team we've just known them to be over the years. Let's see if they can get nitty and gritty. Yeah. Um, Derwin James has been talking up the, the Chargers defense, saying that there's some badass motherfuckers and not to mess with. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Your defense is soft as fucking – soft as Charmin against the run. So, you know, let's hold the jury out on that one. Uh, I'm excited to see Tua and Herbert. Okay. Uh, last year, this, this matchup had a lot of hype. Tua has the wins. Uh, but Herbert has more of the stats to back it up. So two will learn how to roll this offseason. I saw. Yeah. You know, yeah. Power <laughs> of the tattoo this year. Let's, yeah. you know, power of the sleeve. Samoan fucking power. Uh, let's see if that gets a rocket in his fucking arm this year. Um, I think this is going to be a fucking shootout. <laughs> I, think this is- I have like 35, 30, 38. Dude. Like, this is yeah. going to be just like the defense is going to be bad week one. I think, it's, I think the Chargers are going to pull out a tight game. Yeah. Uh, fantasy wise, I'm excited for this one. I think a lot of points are going to be scored 35 31. I'm surprisingly picking the Chargers. I wish this game was in Miami. If it was, I would 1000% pick Miami. I would but too. It's not 100%. Uh, let's move on to an NFC West showdown Seattle and LA, the other LA Rams. Okay. Uh, Seattle at home. Seattle is five and a half point favorites. Seattle is minus 245 for the money line. Rams are plus 200. 45 and a half is the over under. Injuries on the Rams side. Cooper Cup, bad injury news for him, man. Yeah, he's not going to play. He might go on the uh, pup list. So, yeah, it's not looking that's good. That's the man. last thing this Rams team needed, man. Yeah, a big setback in his injury from last year. Uh, we'll see what happens with him. Deron Kendrick, he, uh, hamstring injury. He's also questionable. Uh, look, man, I'm just going to say it straight up. I'm going with the Seahawks 31 24. I like the Seahawks this year. Without Cup. Yeah, I'm going with Seattle. I don't think there's any way that you got to have a 10 game, 10 sack game from Aaron Donald to win this game. They have no good corners really in LA. O line's bad. Skill positions aren't great. Who's their running back one? Cam Akers? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seahawks got this one in the back. What a good opening game for them. Yeah, and I think the majority of those fucking points that are going to be scored by the Rams are going to be by Vance, uh, Van Jefferson. So watch out for yeah, him. Um, Pick him up for fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go to an NFC East showdown. This is uh, Sunday Night Football. New York Giants hosting the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are three-and-a-half-point favorites on the road against the New York Giants. Money line, Dallas is minus 166. New York is plus 140. The over-under is 46 and a half points. Injuries on the Dallas side. Donovan Wilson, calf injury, he's questionable. Same thing with Sam Williams, questionable with a toe injury. Uh, Giant side of injuries. Wandell Robinson, knee injury, questionable. And Wyatt Davis on IR with an ankle injury. Uh, look, man, I, I really wanted to pick the Giants here, but I, I do think the Cowboys are pretty fucking talented, man. They're stacked. Stephon Gilmore, Trayvon Diggs, Michael Trey Parsons, Lance. Trey Lance. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> soon to be starting quarterback. If Dak Prescott throws a lot of picks again this year. Uh, but I'm rolling with the Cowboys, man. I'm rolling with the Cowboys. The only thing that I can see wrecking this game is if the Giants can just cause some problems on defense and pick off Dak Prescott and uh, Kayvon this is Thibodeau. Mike like, McCarthy, first year calling the plays one. How do you feel about that? Uh, Even better than Kellen? I, I don't. Uh, I, I liked Kellen a little bit. I liked him a little bit. More than Mike McCarthy. I think I Dallas is going to lose this game one, and here's why I think that. I think – Dallas, they're a lot of fluff. You know, you can all the Cowboy fans will talk about all their fucking talent, blah, 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 blah. They don't play in cohesiveness. They're not a team. They're a lot of like kind of guys who have a lot of talent. The defense feels like a whole unit. The offense just seems like bits and parts thrown together. Oh, we got Brandon Cooks now. Oh, we have this decent old line. Well, Tyron Smith pencil him out for a few games. I think the the, the Giants are going to be like, we got disrespected. Hey, Cowboys always start 0 1, guys. Tampa, Tampa. Oh, wait, there he goes. Giants, go in there, kick the Cowboys' ass. I'm picking the Giants one. And a close one, 28-21. Look, I think one thing to look at in this game is who's going to be tougher, 
and you know the Giants are going to bring it. The Giants are a physical ass fucking team. They play physical as shit. And that's something to look at if you're a Cowboy fan. Regardless if you guys win or lose, just look at how your team responds when a team tries to fucking punch you in the mouth. Because like you said, Max, they got all the talent in the world, but it don't mean shit if you don't bring it every fucking Sunday. Correct. And you yeah, play like you're an underdog. Uh, I got the Cowboys 24-21. I do think it's going to be close, but I think Dallas and the aftermath of this, they're going to wind up getting a turnover late in the game to close it out uh, with Daniel Jones throwing the pick. That's how I feel. Disagree one, but I, we have a lot of disagreements this week, and we're gonna yeah. we're gonna finish it off too. I think with one, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big uh big sway in the fucking pickums this week. Uh, New York Jets facing off against the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. Uh, Aaron Rodgers debut on Monday Night Football. Well, uh, I'm Buffalo, so sorry, they're they're in New York. They are in New York. Don't know. Why oh, in there. New York. Sorry, sorry. In New, in New York. Oh, oh no, shit. They're in New York, but they're in the they're playing in Me- uh, Meadowland. <laughs> there Met you life, go. Whatever the fuck they're calling. I'm sorry, guys. Week one. Uh, we're not ready. Had to miss yeah. you. Yeah, you like that? Um, Buffalo minus two and a half. Money line is Jets plus one eighteen. Buffalo is minus one thirty eight. Over under is forty six and a half points. Injuries on the Buffalo side. Von Miller, he's on the pup list. Won't be back until week four, of course. And Connor Connor McGur- McGurvin. McGovern. McGovern. Connor McGregor. <laughs> oh, Leg injury, he's he's questionable. Look, man, I'm hype about this game because we know what all the hard knocks fucking hype. Everyone's riding the Jets fucking nutsack. They're riding it hard right now. And I don't like it. I, the more and more hype that these fools get, the more and more I want to fucking sway away from them. And I don't believe in them. I'm rolling with the Bills. The Bills have been kicking ass in the AFC East and taking fucking names for the last four to three years. Correct me if I'm wrong. One. One. It's a new day, sir. Aaron Rodgers, the place is going to be electric. That guy, Sauce Gardner, might play some decent coverage for a change. The Jets' defense is going to get after it. The Bills' O-line's a question mark, remains a question mark. I think this Bills team is going to be overmatched by the Jets' team. But, you know, it's week one. The boys are going to be fired up for their new quarterback. It's kind of like no one can really come in there and beat the Jets. I'm predicting the Rodgers era starts off good. I believe in them. Buffalo's got some injuries. Buffalo's got some more question marks than the Jets in my mind. Going with, I'm going with New York. J E T S. Jets. 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 You sound like Rex Ryan with the fucking. Let's get a. Let's fucking go get snack. a goddamn snack. <laughs> let's go get a. I'm rolling with snack. the Bills, man. You disrespecting our Bills subscribers, man. You know we got a lot of them. Shout out to my boy Josh Allen. I'm taking Max's Josh Allen card right now. Today, no more Josh Allen card for you all fucking year until you give us some goddamn respect. Let the Jets fucking show it first. They're still the little brother. They've been kicking their fucking ass, dude. Little 30 brother to 20. had a growth spurt this summer in 6'6 six, six <laughs> right now. You 5'10, dog. You might get a smoke. <laughs> fuck around find out. Josh Allen going to fucking kick ass and take some fucking names on Monday Night Football, bro. I'm rolling with the Bills, dude. I'm excited for that game, though, man. I hope Aaron Rodgers gets put on his fucking ass, dude. Uh, any other fucking thoughts on any games or anything else? This is going to be the worst week for the lock, I feel like, on. But I'm pretty confident in my lock. How long can we last? Shit. How long can we last? I think we can go. I think we can get a solid five in a row this, to start off. I'm going with five each. I'm going with okay. Washington. I feel like it's a safe-ass pick, dude. Safe-ass pick. <laughs> And I'm going with Baltimore, and I feel I like the same way. Two. I like those yeah. two. Yeah, because it's one or the other. And we'll see how long me and Max can can survive and keep our souls. Uh, we lost a lot of souls last year. Oh, there was a, there was a little dry spell. Yeah, it was a dry spell for a minute, bro. I picked the Raiders. I got so desperate, I was picking the Raiders at one point. I was out of souls. Um, we restocked this year with souls. We got new ones. We don't know how many we're going to get this year, but we're definitely restocked. I'm going with Baltimore. Max got Washington. Let's ride. 
All right. So, uh, can you predict any other... your record before the? Uh, so, like, we can go for soul next picks. Week? No, no, just for the whole the whole week. What do you think you're going to go this week? I think I'm going to go think 16 I'll, and 0. I'll... Fuck no! Shut up, Max. No, I'm going to go 13 and 3. Now. A solid 13 and 3. <sighs> Man, I was just going fucking. I'm going to be above 500. Oh yeah, uh, a small dick energy, my guy. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I think I can go 13 and three like you. I think please, I can. Please, I think I can. I'm gonna get you with the Raiders pick automatically. Oh, no, that, that's I could have picked that for the fucking lock. That was my <laughs> second backup. You fucking asshole. Look, speaking of Colorado, man, this is the last thing I want to end it off on. All right, uh, we appreciate you guys watching the picks. By the way. Uh, we're excited to do this. I so want to get your thoughts. Did, how much did Dion fucking pay you to blow him on stream? Hey, look, man, we got to talk about that. Look, I know you're, I know it's week one. I know it's college football. I know it's Colorado, all that. Yeah. How impressive was fucking Hunter, though? Travis Hunter. Oh, yeah, that guy's crazy. I didn't even know he played two positions. Did he That's do that fucking, at Jackson State? Yeah, he did that at Jackson State. Fucking Otani. Otani. Yeah, son right man. I, I think Travis Otani. It, it's big. We haven't seen guys like that since Charles Woodson and Deion Sanders. I don't doing know if that it's sustainable because he, I think he played more offense than Charles did, at least like through one week, because he's literally like 50 50, which is fucking. Crazy. I, think, I think when it's all said and done, he's going to be a corner. I think his frame is. A very yeah, very small more corner frame than yeah like receiver frame um and i don't think he has the best hands no 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 do you think shadier sanders is i don't know if i'm saying that right sorry do you think he's an nfl quarterback right there well they're already fucking predicting the kid to be in the top 10 in the last mock draft well, what do I you seen? think i i love what i seen and uh the, all the questions about him max was c- can he do it in, on on a higher level you know he was doing this Shit. at jackson state uh, well, they were all know, doing the that. one thing you can say is it wasn't against like you know like that like eastern washington valley of the yeah. west the thing is TCU. though max it's TCU. it's tcu but they lost a bunch of guys quentin johnson they lost hey. miller hey asshole none of those guys play defense so don't worry yeah. about it i get but it hey, i get it they're still 17th they're still 17th they people thought they were good enough to be at the top 25 <sighs> Okay, okay, but Max, like, yeah, fuck it. Oh, don't get me started on the rankings now. No, 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 no. I'm going to say this, though. As the season progresses and if TCU keeps on losing, this win is going to look a lot less impressive for yeah, Colorado. Obviously, because people yeah, are going to be like, like oh, okay, okay, well, well, TCU was trash, you know? Yeah, but I don't, as of I don't right now, like that's a dumb argument to have as of right now. It's like, we'll just wait till we get there. Yeah, but I have a feeling. That TCU is going to be that. Like, they're Does not going to play there. USC this year. I believe so. They're in the Pac-12. They should for like that's what, a game. One more year? Yeah, they do. No, they do. They play in yeah. Colorado. I believe. Colorado's ranked twenty-two now. Wow, wow. they play Oregon and USC and so is what five. They play, they play Nebraska, Colorado State, Colorado, uh, Oregon, and USC. USC's six and UCLA. See? I believe they play UCLA too, right? I mean, let's ride. Oh. That's right. Look, man, like I said, Coach Prime has done more for the city of Denver in one week than Russell Wilson has in one fucking Coach year. Prime done more for Denver than Nikola Jokic did in the NBA Finals, guys. <laughs> Call it how it is. Take. Call Let it how it is. <laughs> Coach Prime bought his Gucci, whatever the fuck else he brought. He brought his goddamn Coach Louis Vuitton. fucking Prime, dude. Look, fucking Deion Sanders. Would you run through a fucking wall for Deion? No, I wouldn't. No, no, I'd go up there. And I'd sock him out real quick. No, I probably. Would. I want to send I you. Would. I want to send you this this speech that he had with Warren Sapp. I thought it was fucking amazing. That hoorah shit works perfect for college. Do you like? I, did you ever see his comments on Rich Eisen where he was talking about how like he's like the end? I want a single mama home. You know, just a dog. <laughs> I was like, I bet he really thinks like that. I mean, I get it though. Like, yeah. He's he's 100%. fucking he's cool, man. He's people he's so- just don't like him. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb and say yeah, he's loud, he's very arrogant in his. Yeah. But I don't think it's arrogance. I think it's just the belief in himself, which people right. come off as arrogant. I mean, he's a black man in America. 
he doesn't, you know, just shut the fuck up and do the right things like Nick Saban. He's like, I'm gonna talk my talk. So people don't like that. Yeah. And I think it's bullshit. And he's and he didn't he's he didn't sell out Jackson State either. Fuck everyone who said no, that. No, fuck no, fuck no. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. If any, I don't even like college football, and I barely followed it. And people can say you don't know what you're talking about. Hey, dog. Uh, he got the number one recruit in fucking college, in, yeah. in the high school to go to an HBCU. <laughs> fuck you. That was yeah. never happening before he got there. Fuck you guys. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. I. I. I think. I think. Uh, Deion Sanders is perfect for college football. He fits it to a T. And it's making a person like me who doesn't watch college football on the regular uh, make me excited to want to see them every week be solely because of three guys, the quarterback, his son, Hunter and coach prime though. I got to watch them every week. I got to see, I'm going to see what's I'm going excited on for like Oregon and USC and USC. I, I, would, I would watch yeah. those. Yeah. yeah. It's Caleb. Goddamn Williams. Special guy. Hey, Hey, I know. I don't know. Who, who told you about Caleb like, though? Early though, I don't told even about Caleb. half the shit you say. So, hey, you know. hey, you know, you know, you know. Who, who told you about Kayvon Thibodeau? And you were like, who? Tibble what? Tibble who? I knew about him. Shut up. <laughs> 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 All right, hey, that's good, guys. Real quick, can I say my last piece? Yeah, you guys check out the Max Crosby video. I think it's a pretty good one. Yes, check out our Max Crosby video, man. Uh, we put a lot of work in those. We want to try to come out with those MJC originals more often. I know we always say that, but they're me oh, and Max put a lot of work into doing a lot more than usual. Yeah, but uh, I think I feel like we're always saying that. But they're, they're look, Max, Max is a witness, dude. It, it, there's a lot of work that goes into it on all of our accounts. There's a lot of work that goes into it. So uh, hopefully, we can get a lot more out during the season. But uh, go check it out, man. Uh, it's a breakdown on basically how good Max Crosby is. And uh, we hope you guys enjoy it. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Our first pick of the year for week one. We're excited, man. We hope you guys enjoy all 0, the guys. football games. Pencil You're not going to go 16-0. and 0. You're not going to go 16-0. and 0. If I go 16-0, okay. what will you give me? I would... I would let you let me punch you in the face. I would not be able street. to talk. Sh- I would not. No, I would not be able to wear any Raider gear on the podcast for the rest of your life. For the rest. No, I don't know about <laughs> that on on any on any pick em show. We'll do it for the pick em show because it's hard for the reviews, dog, because I'd be wearing Raider gear every Sunday. OK, on the pick em show, if you go undefeated. I can't wear any Raider gear on the Pick'em show. Oh, that's hot. I can have it behind me, but I can't wear it. That's hot, what about bro. you? What about it. you? What if oh, I go 16 it, and 0? It, it'll never happen. Don't worry about it. Don't even no, want to concern yourself. What? Come on. Give me some. Give we'll me cross some. that bridge when we get there. We'll cross that bridge when <laughs> no. we get there. Give me, give okay, me one so pick season. Em. Okay, look. If you're so confident, I get to pick at that point. If I go 16 and 0, I can pick anything I want. Are you that confident? No. I mean, you know. Oh, no so you're not confident. Stuff. No certain you're not... stuff. Okay, nothing. No. Okay, nothing egregious. <laughs> nothing egregious. Nothing that can get you arrested or banned off the internet. <laughs> I don't know. You get a fuck. You say one thing now. <laughs> okay, you agree? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. All right. I I'll light all my Raiders gear on fire if I fucking you go. You don't fucking enough. have none. Shut up. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Uh, Turn on post notifications, man. Uh, We will be going live for the reviews every Sunday evening or night. Uh, We'll for sure to get those out for you guys. Me or Max will go live for for those. But like I said, pick them show. It was going to be pre-recorded. recorded. It will be coming out Thursday morning, all right? So enjoy Thursday night football. Enjoy Sunday. We'll see you guys Sunday night. We out. Peace. Thank <music> you.